Hi everyone, this is Vincent Nguyen for Slash Gear, and today I am going to briefly walk you through Apple's new iPhone 4. So let's go ahead and get started. On the back is a new 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash. The new Retina display is 3.5 inch featuring 960 by 640 backlit LCD. There's a front facing camera, speaker, home button as usual. On the left hand side is a mute button, volume up, down. Antennas are now mounted on the left and right lower hand side of the iPhone 4. There's one more on top, a second mic, and a 3.5mm jack. Located on the right hand side is a lock power on off switch and at the bottom there is the 30 pin dock connector, speaker, and the primary mic. Let's jump into iOS 4 which is renamed from iPhone OS. If you double tap the home button twice, um, a menu will pop up at the bottom. The first thing you'll see is the virtual lock button preventing the iPhone from rotating left or right or horizontal vertical mode. Um, there's the soft uh, iPod functionality. If you scroll left, right, you'll see all your apps open. And if you want to close down an app, just press and hold and you can uh, then go through the list and manually shut down those apps. As you can see, I just shut down a whole bunch. So if you want to create folders, which is a really cool feature, um, you just press and hold and then you move it from, you basically select the app and put it on top of another app and it'll automatically create the folders for you. Um, if it's productivity, it'll create the folder called productivity and of course you can rename it anything you want. Very simple and as you can see, I really take advantage of this feature. So let's look at the web browser and kind of demonstrate uh, the retina display and how amazing uh, it looks. So let's log on to Slash Gear website. And let me show you um, on video the display resolution. As you can see, as I uh, zoom in, everything just stays completely clear. Um, Apple has made it to where the display now has uh, a pixel density of 326 pixel per inch. This is four times as many pixels as the iPhone 3GS. So let me demo another cool app that I have on the iPhone. And this is something that's really relaxing, um, the Koi Pond. Uh, if, if I have my iPhone plugged in, I, I usually put this on and it's just very soothing. And as you can see, the ripple effect on the water, it just looks amazingly uh, real. Um, the, the, um, the display viewing angle is just amazing, as you can see me going through there. Let's see what else I want to show you next. Let's look at some pictures um, that I took. Well, pictures and videos that I took with the 5 megapixel camera. <clears throat> the first thing we'll look at is this waterfall I took, uh, a video of this waterfall I took in New York. I have to dig it out, but I did take the same waterfall with the uh, 3GS camera, I believe. And uh, once I dig it up, we can do a comparison and see the difference. As you can see, um, you can watch the video in landscape or portrait mode. Let's take a look at iMovie. Now with iMovie, you can literally edit all your videos. I mean, it's not like iMovie on your desktop, but uh, sufficient enough for you to edit um, email it, MMS it, or upload to YouTube or Flickr if you like. Uh, let's see if I can pick a clip to show you how easy it is to drag and drop. I mean, it's, it's virtually that easy. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time to walk you through the full details here, but um, you just have to play with it yourself and, and see how how easy it is to edit videos. So that's it for this brief walkthrough of the new iPhone 4. Make sure to check slashgear.com for my full review and thanks again for watching.